The 1970s were a time of change for railroads all over the country and all over the world. Roger Koenig was out with his Super 8 movie cameras, recording much of the train action before it was gone forever. Roger lived west and south of the Windy City, so it was only natural he would frequently head for the hot bit of rail activity at Joliet Union Station. But he also visited Homewood, Blue Island, Oak Forest, and several other communities outside of Chicago. He also got farther west to savor the last remaining switching operation handled exclusively by steam locomotives at Sterling, Illinois until the early 1980s. Ride with us now as we relive rail action in the 1970s as seen through the movie camera lens of Roger Koenig. Our rail action starts right away as Roger rides the rear of a Rock Island commuter train as it meets and passes a freight near Joliet. We are peering around the corner of UD for Union Depot Tower at Joliet down the Rock Island Main Line towards Chicago as one of Rock's AB6 flat nose modified B units with a cab bears down on the Santa Fe Diamond. The units were unique to the Rock Island. The Rock had two of these B units with cabs, originally built with only one prime mover to run on the Rocky Mountain Rocket, to and from Denver and Colorado Springs. Paired with a regular E6A unit, a westbound train was split at Lyman, Colorado, where the AB6 usually pulled a shorter train to Colorado Springs. Joliet is on the Santa Fe Main Line in Chicago, but it hosted trains of other railroads. It's June 1970, and the Gulf Mobile and Ohio's plug, its sole commuter train, rolls into Union Station. The passengers alight as the engineer of number 880B peers out of the cab. Two years later, on August 10, 1972, the GMNO would merge with the Illinois Central to form Illinois Central Gulf. Around the corner, passengers continue to leave a rock train and head across the tracks into the Joliet Station building. The tracks and platforms are elevated. The city street runs past the lower level entrance to the station and under them. With the Rock Island train in the clear, the three-car GM&O commuter train clatters over the diamonds and heads for its tiny coach yard. Blade semaphores protect the move. Santa Fe owned the North-South Main Line through Joliet in the 1970s. With a momentary lull in passenger train action, a local freight pulled by GP number 3106 moves through the platform area and heads south under the signal bridge. Santa Fe operated many of these distinctive large cabooses with a cupola located near the end of the body. There was no mistaking the bright red and yellow of the Rock Island as E8A 648 and E7B 610 back through the Joliet Station. As the power clears the signal bridge and backs to the service area, the Rock's westbound Quad Cities to Rock Island rounds the curve. The Rock Island had a fairly straight run from Chicago's LaSalle Street Station and crossed the Santa Fe on the diamonds at Joliet in the shadow of UD Tower. <laughs> 